Did you and the king ever get it on? I wish I could say yes, but no. Oh, really? No. I, I we heard were... that, you, that you romanced each other back around 1968. You did? Ooh, that's <laughs> neat. No, didn't happen. How come? Uh, no chemistry? When I met him, I was 19 and engaged to Tommy Sands. And when we did the film, uh, he was married and pregnant. I don't you get mean, to meet that many people who knew Elvis. You mean, did we sleep together? I could bring it up because it didn't happen. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. it didn't happen. He was a great kisser. He was a good kisser? Yeah. The king could kiss. We all know that. I've seen the movies. You yeah. can tell that in the movies. Yeah. But uh, what was he like as a person? You know, so he was a good kisser. Uh, Funny and yeah. sweet and fidgety. He, he would always be moving, either his foot... That's my And he smoked these long... Um, Cigarellos. Yeah, yeah. Cigarellos. I've seen pictures of him smoking those. Yeah. Was Elvis the great love of your life? Yes, he was. Is there a one song that Elvis sang which resonates most with you? That's a, that's a hard question. That's the hardest one you've asked me. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> gosh, probably it's now or never because I heard him sing that in... Um, Germany, actually, mm. and and that was given to him through the record label to watch him sing the song and try to reach the notes in perfection is what we, he was looking for to perfect those notes because he, his tone his 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 uh, pitch was not as high uh, in in that particular song so he would always try to reach it and mess up and then hit his leg and try it again and again and again. So watching him kind of rehearse and trying to get it right is, is, was an experience. Ginger came on the scene, Ginger Alder. Ginger is a very pretty woman and she was young. Here's a 22 year old that's got a lifestyle that she likes and here's a 42 year old that done everything in the world and not too much interested him anymore. She acts like she don't want to be around sometimes. I said, Ginger, like showing you all the fact that she's going with you she wants her family to meet you her friends to meet you and she enjoys nightclubs pool parties in order to hold her you've got to go to her lifestyle and not so much expect her to do all yours experience the whole year of him and ginger and i am sick to the bone of it and i told my wife i said i am sick of it i said i wish he would ditch her get somebody else. I said, but you, nothing you say seems to change his mind. I've just about had it. I said, I just can't handle it. She said, look, I never will forget that because it stood out. She said, just bear with him. She said, because, you know, we might not have him long. He had asked me to move into Graceland, but I never did. And he said, I respect you for that. I just didn't at the time. I didn't, it wasn't my way. I was up there pretty much every day. And uh, I just think the portrayal, the image of him, you know, is, is has been really unfair. And, uh, you know, Elvis was not someone sitting up and gorging on, he, 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 he could be um, compulsive sometimes when eating certain foods. But uh, this image, I never once saw him eat a fried peanut butter, the famous fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches, I never once saw that. So I guess your, your biggest concern has been that he's been defined by those final months of his life. Mm. And you're saying that what people perceived was his life really was not the reality. He was never bored, he didn't act down, we laughed, we watched television played the organ in his room. Sometimes we went out, we rode uh, three wheels. He had these great fun three wheelers. You still miss him? Yeah, I, of course. I miss that we didn't get to see where he was going to go and hear more of his music. He had a lot, lot left to do. I was relieved the reporters didn't ask me about my mother. Elvis, do the other soldiers give you a rough time because you're famous? No, sir, I was very Maybe surprised. I... Uh, I, I've never met a, 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 a better group of boys in my life. Why they, uh, they probably would have. Uh, if it had been like everybody thought, I mean, everybody thought I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't have to work and I would uh, be given special treatment and this and that. But when they looked around and saw I was, I was on KP and I was pulling guard and everything just like they were. Elvis, what do you think about going to Germany? Uh, well, sir, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I mean, uh, uh, just before I came in the Army, we were planning a tour of Europe. And, uh, I, I, uh, got, uh, quite a bit of mail from over there and, and everything, you know, and I'm kind of looking forward to it, really. I don't think there was ever a question, was there still love between Elvis and Priscilla? 
One of the impressive photographs that were taken when they left the courthouse, there are two people getting a divorce, and they leave hand in hand. Speaks well for what they felt towards one another. I, I think it was easier. I think the pressure was off. He would come over and visit the house and come at all ungodly hours of the night and uh, spend a lot of time with us. Just coming over unannounced and waking me up and coming in and wanting to shoot my mom's dog because he was barking at him <laughs> and them talking, you know, um, in the middle of the night, all night long. And he used to do that quite often, go to the house and call up and say, I'm coming over. He just, just couldn't let go. This is actually after we had uh, separated and I brought Lisa to um, to Vegas and I was sitting in the audience at one of the booths and he looked over and he very rarely, you know, dedicated songs at all. But he looked over and he, Mao, this is for you. Ever thought that this place would become such a sacred place for Elvis fans? No, never. I mean, when when we opened it in 82, we had no idea that we have a lot of, we'd have maybe some visitors, but not to this extent. I mean, I was told that Elvis um, passed and that, you know, he'll be forgotten the next couple of years and life goes on. I'm always really happy when I'm here. It always reminds me of when I was the happiest, I think, in my life. So, and it, you know, it always just brings me right there when I come back. And Priscilla, in an you interview, I believe you said uh, <laughs> when you were talking about Graceland coming here that you feel like Elvis is going to come down the stairs any minute. So do you feel his presence here throughout still? Absolutely. I've always said that. You feel that he was, this is so much a part of him, this home. He loved this home. Um, he always came back here, no matter what. His presence is just all around, going into each room, and sitting here, you know, sitting and talking or playing the piano. She was at the train at the airport when I left, and uh, there were some pictures made of her. <laughs> On the way to the airport, we were very quiet, and he would tell me not to worry, and he would stay in touch with me. A lot of obligations that he had to tend to, and that it may be a while, you know, that he would hear from me, but he would get back to me, and, and he gave me his jacket, and he told me to keep it in a safe place for him, to wear it, you know, and think of him. I remember the bombardment of, of um, photographers following me to the airport, and he told me that when we got out of the car, he would stand up at the the top of the stair of the plane and he'd look for me and he wanted me to wave and he said he wanted me to be happy and he said the last thing he wanted to do was see any sad faces of me you know in the press so that was really hard because i really didn't know if i would really ever see him again i mean here he was going off back to making movies and you know i was the girl he left behind um you know a lot of doubt goes in your mind at that time Uh, Rosemary Altia t Twitter asked, do you still feel his presence? I do, especially when I go to Grayson. Absolutely, I do. His spirit is there. When I walk in those doors, I can hear his laughter. I can feel his spirit walking down the stairs. I think I just, um, and I'm not the only one who feels that way. It's uh, His presence. Yes, yeah. I do. Mm -hmm.